Shalom Aleichem. We're learning the Sikha B'chu Kaysay Gimel, which is based on a Fabrengen that the Rebbe had in Tavshin Chafei B'chu Kaysay. And we already learned a Sikha, not this cycle, last year. Um, the first Sikha B'chu Kaysay was also from this Fabrengen. And there's another Sikha later on, Chelek Yudbeis, that we also learned two years ago, all from this Fabrengen. Now, this Sikha is basically based on a Mimer. The Rebbe said a Mimer Ke'en Sikha. In other words, it was a mimer, but it was in the tune of a sicha. And after the mimer, the Rebbe said that whoever finished learning the Kutti Torah of that week, and those who commit to learn it by, by Abdullah, should say l'chaim. Um, <clears throat> and this, the Rebbe pointed to some people and said to make it in a big cup. And because it's a siyum on the, it's also a siyum on the whole by Yikra, it should be with a decision to learn and complete the rest of this farm in the Kutti Torah, not because I told you, but believe Shalim and Nevesh Chavetzel with a full heart. Now, in those years especially, the Rebbe made an incredible focus on learning the Kuti Torah. Often the Rebbe would say that the people who said, learned the Kuti Torah, Torah, or should say L'chaim, was a big deal. Even in the Tavshin Bays, the last year of Sichas, the Rebbe made a special petition for people to learn the Kuti Torah every single week. And it's really in that context that you could appreciate the Sicha that we learned, which is really a mimer. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I want, I'm going to share a screen. So that the sikh I just learned, we just, uh, I just read, that's Farbrengen. But then there's this mimer that the Rebbe said. It's a long mimer. And the sikh that we learned is pretty much this mimer without the beginning part. The beginning part, which talks about and grape, we do reference it, but it's not the main part of the Sicha. But in Eis Gimel, he starts talking about the idea of um, um, that you need and that's how you make sure it's, it's affected in this world. And then the Rebbe says, connected to what is explained in the beginning of Lukot Yitayda, in the beginning of Pashas, by Yikda, we're combining the beginning to the end regarding the Sarusa Leila, Sarusa Lezata, that when there is a Sarusa Leila that comes from above, then um, in, within a short amount of time, that inspiration will fizzle out. And even if your heart, your soul awakens from that, it could go very quickly and it won't last. Because this light that only shined by Ace Rutzen, then it, it's as if it never was. And it's not going to really transform you. The Tela Avash Nistaifimena, so the love that came from it is gone. So, what's the Ace that ever said? What should you do when there is an Ace Rutzen and you get Milamaila is Oyedus that awakens you? Right away, awaken within yourself is Arusadulasata, and then it's going to last. And it will be engraved in you. So that it actually becomes permanent. Then the Rebbe went on to say, so again, it's similar in the Kudus to what we learned in the Sicha, but over here more in the Oisi Sachsidus or in the Mimer style. Deeper, he says, that the idea of Mitzvah Say Tishmeiru is not only to Tishmeiru like holding, uh, holding a vessel so that you could become, uh, you could contain the light from above, which was what he said till now in the Mimer. But more than that, you come to a higher level, you come to a higher level, even than the Sharish Hanashama. And that's why it says first, because it's a higher Madrega, Mailim Bakaydash. And so to the Sarusa Leila Sata, that the Sarusa Sata doesn't only accomplish that the Sarusa Leila will last, but more than that, there's a Maila in the, in the awakening from below, the awakening above even though the awakening from above is from a higher level, that the Tachtonim can't come there, and it comes from Hashem's Chesed, nevertheless, Isarusa de Lasata has a higher ilu. And that's the deeper reason why Isarusa de Lasata has such an effect as Isarusa de Leila, even though you, seemingly, just like you don't need Isarusa de Lasata to bring down Isarusa de Leila, then you shouldn't need it to cause it to last. So you must say it's because there's a, a, a power within it. And that's where he goes into the idea of what it says at the end of the parsha. The end of parsha is Vayikra as well. Damai and Basalana to'elich. That Cherish and Neshama is from Ayin, Chachma. 
And Lana Tahilech goes on Makim, Anna Panechamadis, where are you heading? At Anna where are you going? So why? Because the main reward is Tchir Samaisim Melam is Agashma. Agashma. And then they've asked the question that we learned in the Sicha and the Dachkin Avayda Sa'adam. You get to the Kavana Sa'atmus, which is higher because Hashem had a Taivi, had a desire um, that there should be a world down here in the place of An. La Anna Tahilech Makim Gashmi. And that's why Sarusla Sata has such an effect because everything that comes from above is Gilui. But Aveda Sa'adam, when you work down here in this world, it's Atmos, which is higher than anything that can come from Sarusa de Leila. And this is the reason why, in general, human beings enjoy a, the accomplishment of their own work, even if it wasn't, it didn't bring the same reward as getting it from somebody else. Why? Because the Kavana Sa'atmos, where is Atmos expressed? Dafka, when you put in an effort. And because the Sarusa de Sata touches Atmos, Therefore, it causes that the Sarusa Leila can, can last. In other words, the Sarusa Leila by itself cannot last because it's only from Gilu. Then the Rebbe goes on to the connection between the beginning and the end of Sims uh, of the Kuti Teira, that both of them talk about Aveda. But in the beginning of the Sefer, it talks about Milo Savedo Bismana Zet. And in the end of the Sefer, it talks about La Asud Lavib Tchias Hamesim, that the Schar will be Mamakim Aveda, Dafke here in Eilam Azeh. Agashmi. And then the Rebbe went into the Isafis that we learned about Yom Kippur and Sukkis and Shemini is the essence, the essence of the whole Chedesh Tishri as we learned in the Sicha. And then the Rebbe came back and then the Sicha to Bechut Kaisai Teilechu. Now interesting, towards the end of the Fabeng, the Rebbe also spoke about the idea of, of Dine Bechoyr and Dine Maiser. Um, even though Kedushas Bechoyr is higher from Kedushas Maiser, there's a Maila when it comes to Avedas Adam. So that part of the Sicha was said as a Sicha, but the whole Chassidus part was said um, as a Maimer. Now, just a few points that ever said at the Fabeng in there, when it ever said there's a Maila in Maisa that comes to Avedas Adam, it ever said, as we know, the incredible thing of Aveda, that literally it changes things above, Asiya Dalela, makes things above. And then when the Rebbe spoke about the idea that the point of uh, the Kavana is to bring the Ur uh, Shalomayla in Eser Kechas Agluyim, the Rebbe says, like Aser Sadibus, that the beginning is a Nechiv La But after that, it has to go into 100, two, sorry, 620 letters, including Asher Ledeyecha, the seven letters Asher Ledeyecha, which refer to Zayim Mitzvah Sadabban. In other words, the first two commandments have to imply it, uh, implant themselves into the 620 Mitzvahs. And also to mention what the Chazal say, that there were 10 years of hunger, and one of them was in the times of Avram, and one will be La'asid Lavi. But it's not going to be a hunger La'lechem, and not a thirst for water, but Lishmai is Bar Hashem. So in other words, that idea of um, 10, and that leads to the Eser Shiraz, to the Shira Sirish of Shir Chadish. In other words, all connected to the Eser Kerechus Agluyim, Eser Sadibdes, Eser Shneida Avain, and the 10 songs of Sheikh Haddash that will be blessed love it when Sheikh comes take it from Yad. Mamish Lachaim Rashallah.